All right, haven't gone to mother in a while. Let's see how it goes. We have the bat scissors and we have seven seals. We also have a high priestess card. Which that one's pretty bananas. That's basically just gonna trivialize one boss. Uh, you know, not super exciting, but certainly not bad to have. Uh oh. All right. Free crawl space? Free crawl space? No. The best things in life are indeed not free. Okay, careful. That's the explodey fly. You have to be a bit careful with seven seals. Because war is uh, throwing explodey flies. And I am not interested in getting explodey flied. Bat scissors are better now? Why? I mean, I guess it ups my tier rate a bit. Ball of tar. Why not? Why not what? Why do I not want to get explodey flight? It's just a personal preference. It is the Ragman. Wow. War just took him TF out. Get the tier size thing, and then we're going to head here. Curse of the Unknown. I have three red hearts and a soul heart. I paid attention for once. Get him war. Alright, two bombs is nice, but I really need keys. The bombs I'm gonna need later. Oh, I really forgot to turn that off, and it didn't come up up until now. This is the third run of the day. Okay. Do, do, do. Did there really need to be five enemies in this second floor room? Space that way as well? That was rough. I guess we made it. All right, what do we got? I actually like vasculitis. That's a, that's a good one. Enemies exploding into tears, that can lead to pretty nice chain reactions. And even if it's just a little bit of a, a extra damage, it's still useful. Oof, strength card. Okay, probably just gonna use the High Priestess here then. I find it kind of difficult to navigate this. I also just took red heart damage, apparently. But we're going to get the devil deal anyway. Jello. All right, I'm going to make Mavis proud and then we're going to find a 4.5 volt. Take that with us. Where is the store? It's pro the, the, the secret room is probably above or below the store. I don't know where exactly, so... I'm just going to save my bombs, but that's an awkward one. I'd be down for the good old Jello 4.5 volt combo.
man. My execution has definitely been on the weaker side this run so far. I want to go in there, but right now I do not possess the resources. Okay, gonna have to go through this room a second time, most likely. No, definitely will. What? Okay, there's the boss room. Let's see if it's an easy one. I'm not super scared of this guy, but I'm also not super into fighting him twice. Another devil deal. Azazel's raid. Uh, sure. Blow that up so I don't actually lock myself out. And then we're gonna go look for that knife piece. Still don't have a key. <laughs> Ooh. All right. When vasculitis tears scare me more than they should. All right, there's a key. Do I go for the extra boss? He is kind of free. And I have jello. Assuming I don't die in here. <laughs> Alright, we're coming in clutch here. We get a second boss item, which is great, even if it's only an old bandage. Got the key piece, let's get out of here. This part is always so scary whenever I go for a mother run, it's it's not a good time. Where's my secret room? These floors have been so indecipherable. Indeci Whatever, let's go to the item room. Item room definitely better here than the store with 10 coins. If I could, like, actually figure out where the secret room is. Yeesh. I'll go for this, sure. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot to answer that message. Uh, am I interested in another challenge run? Interested? Yes, probably not for the day stream, but on Friday I can do another challenge run. If you've got a spicy one for me. All right. One down, one more to go. Key piece, that is. Curse of the Blind. All right. Ooh. That was a bit of a waste. Okay, library is actually a good one to get on Curse of the Blind because everything is takeable. And we can potentially get a thing out of it. I, I would jump on a blind item with this build because I feel like we need help. But if I get the choice between the library and the item room, I'm definitely going to go to the library first. Alternatively, how about we actually start finding keys and I go to both? All right, that's bookworm. Don't think jello gets replaced here, but... Bookworm is a good start. And I got a key from Book of Sin, so I can actually go in here. Yo, chat, left or right? First person to say something gets the pick. Shovel, red key, and the school bag. You're only allowed to take items from outside the regular map. Yo, that's an interesting one. Okay, first one was Ninja Penguin saying right, so... Stitches. Sorry about that, but... Oh. I don't care about that. Am I glad I picked up the Azazel thing? Honestly, so far I'm kind of underwhelmed. Seems to always go off in the wrong rooms. Lovers. Might as well. It looks like I have so much damage because my tears are so big, but I mean, I got the tear size thing, so. I really don't have that. I have 3.19 damage. That's really not a whole lot. Wait, what? That was hostile? Okay, I'm dumb. Birthright. <laughs> Sackhead, dude, that's an. No, oh, I guess I bought a store item then. <laughs> Man, what a terrible time to get birthright. Wait, if that's the boss room, then what's up there? There'll be some sort of end room up there, right? And what? Oh. Fun time. Yo, lag. That was an extravagant way to get a shot by him. Okay, uh, my Azazel Rage is actually loaded, so let's take this to the boss room. Life is pain. Yo, what is that? Wait, what? H Hello? What just happened? All right. Uh, I'm not going to buy a devil item, most likely, but... I might as well check if there's maybe Krampus in there. Oh. Yeah, after the initial shock wore off, I figured it was vasculitis, but why does it do that on that boss? <laughs> That's so strange. OK. 
Okay, is, that a, is this a mid-boss room? This suspiciously looks like it would be a mid-boss, right? Because it's an end room, it's just in the middle of nowhere. No, it's just... Gotta be, right? Yeah. I'll play until 10, and then blow it up. Get a card drop here. Oh, that was a temperance card. Hmm. Sure. I did have a luck foot last run. You didn't give me that kind of secret room. Don't need it now. All right. Not the worst blind curse here. Although the 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 birthright bit that that hurt. I won't lie. That was that was mean. That was actually just mean. But sackhead is also not a, a bad item to get out of that, right? What are these items? Don't really care about the mushroom because what I do, what I need is not tears up, damage down, but vice versa. Jello, heck yeah, get him, boy. Jello for the win. Laser beam is up again. At least it did something this time. Okay, since I'm uh, I, since I just unlocked the door and I have a tendency to forget the key piece, let me just do that right now. Let's get it over with. Look how small my tears suddenly are. And I didn't even lose any damage. There's no way I can get these, right? Good stuff. All right, managed to clear the boring part without taking damage. Sweet.
Doing it in multi? Oh my god, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Yo, that was a convenient... I didn't even see the tinder rock yet. Not gonna lie. I just... I just fired at the thing. All right, we finally increased our damage by 1.69. Anything you got to say about that, chat? What? Okay. At least Bill is on board. Alright, yet another mother run where I didn't have to see the great Chidian. <laughs> Life's good. Every time, man, I'm telling you. Two of clubs. Chaos card? Strength? A lot of strength cards. Okay, Krampus is actually fine here because right now I need my heart containers because of the door. <laughs> so this is fine. Just give me coal, bro. No, that okay. Um... We're definitely taking that with us, right? That trivializes the mother fight. At least one phase. If I got the chaos card, would I use it rather on Gideon or mother? That's an incredibly interesting question. That would also strongly depend on the situation I'm in. Like, the weaker my run would be at this point, the more likely I would be to use it on Gideon, because I would need something right now. And the more confident I would be... ...to get to and beat Gideon, the more likely I would just save it to Mother, for Mother. Come on, give me a single soul heart. And I'm a happy man. One single soul heart. No? Really? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna gamble away the rest of the money. There's a good chance I can still buy... Okay, two is fine. Two is fine. World card. All right, saves me the guesswork of looking for the secret room. That would have actually been my next guess. Question. That's okay. That, that doesn't matter. Not at this point. <laughs> All right, definitely not out of the woods here. <laughs> Quite the contrary.
I might come back for that. Didn't need jello here, but that's okay. No, oh, bro. Hierophant! Huge! Uh, oh, it's a puzzle room. I, somehow that took me way too long to grasp. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I doing? Thank god all of these things only do half art. <laughs> This is Gehenna 1, right? Oh, double heart. Still want to look for something that increases my devil chance, I guess. Do, do, do. I played that real bad. Can't really do anything here without flight. No, 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 no! Dude, this one is so awkward! Ah! I made that way harder for myself than it needed to be. Jesus. Okay. Alright. Stone chest. Big fan of those. Wish I could get more of them. We do have store money now. What is this floor? Okay. Is that the first time I don't take the question mark? I think that's the first time I went into an item room on alt path on this run and thought, wow, that is actually better than a random item. That's still good. That's gonna go off twice. I'm gonna blow this up and see what the item is. And then can decide if I want to come back for it. Definitely don't want to come back for that. Oh, there goes the devil, gents. Definitely going for that. Again, I don't know what it is with this room and me. Like, so something about that just fries my brain. Can Jello somehow get those chests in that room? Probably not. I don't trust that big room. I want to clear that. Maybe that leads to a two or one percent planetarium or something. I don't know. I mean, it actually leads to an arcade. I only have nine cents, but we're probably 10 cents. We're probably gonna gamble those away. Please, for the love of everything that is holy, if there was ever a claw game to win the 25% at, it was that one. 
Oh, okay. It gets better. <laughs> All right. We rolled up. We need to win another claw game here. <laughs> Streamer luck. Yeah, sure. It's not like I'm notorious for losing claw games usually. <laughs> Oh, hold up. The bandage went off there, but I wasted the heart. Another one? Oh. I mean, that was asking a lot. Winning two in a row. On a game where I never win. But we might get more plays, depending on what my boss drop is. I do have a lot of blood donation machines on this floor, so... I can also just play it two more times and pick up the, the rotten heart. Not an unheard of idea. Let's do it. I can play the thing one more time now, too. I'm going to need all the min maxing I can get here, so. Blow up two dono machines for health. Ah, uh, you want to see the boss item first before I make that kind of decision. Oh, boy. Thanks, War. Claw Games IRL have a lower win percentage. That's true. Arn Jesus is on my side this round. And Spoonbender? Bro, what is this Claw Game? <laughs> <laughs> Although Spoonbender is a lot less exciting, I guess, with Tractor Beam, but it's still good. I mean, I'd, I'd play for it if I get another two cents. Let's clear the boss first, see our boss item, and if we hit the 11.5%. Oh, I still have this too. Does it even work with Tractor Beam? It still can't leave the beam, but... It's still tracking and, and trying to follow enemy. So it can like, it can it, it run past an enemy and then come back inside the beam, right? If you miss something. So it's not entirely useless. Why am I looking for the super secret room? I've seen the super secret room. Man. Oh boy. Don't think anyone would hold it against me if I chaos carded this guy instead. Uh, growth hormones. Yep, yep, yep. Let's try and get the spoon vendor. I I think it's worth it to go for the spoon vendor. I'm gonna play this once for one cent. And then I'm probably just going to start blowing up blood donation machines. In fact, I'm going to start with this one. Magician card. That's that spoon bender at home. Maybe that was a sign. Maybe it means we're going to win at the claw game. All right, it shall not be the spoon bender, but that uh, that's okay. Again, it's it's much worse with tractor beam. I still think it's worth going for. That's why I wanted it, but I'm not heartbroken about not getting that. I mean, I got a I got a tractor beam and a squeezy out of that claw machine. I really can't complain. All right. Curse of the Laws. That's not the worst thing in the world. Very annoying, though. Uh oh. Okay.
See, I could do it here, no problem. I don't know why it was so difficult in that other room. Yikes. It's a boss challenge room. Maybe? Oh! Big! Nice hearts, definitely what I need. All right, magic scab. Oh no. Oh, I forgot I have to fight these guys. I'm not sure that scab was worth it. I should have definitely waited to have my thing up. Okay. Uh, wait, are you gonna see my jello? No, you're not. Because Jello is honestly pretty awesome. All right, was that worth it? I really don't know. Would have probably been a lot easier if I just made sure I had Jello going in there. Wait, what? Look, at this point, I take everything I can get. This run has been less than kind. I mean, I want that, but I'm not going to pay two hearts to get one. Nice. <laughs> Convenient. I could have actually blown up the chests first and see if they're worth getting, but I kind of forgot about it. All right, that's worth. Oh, the jello shots actually get bundled into my tractor beam too. That's really nice. Okay, this is going to be the mom fight, so I don't want to quite go in there yet. Well, I want these. And I have enough bombs. Nope. Nuts would it be to have flight on this floor? I mean, seriously, that's like what four rooms at this point where I just get a bunch of stuff for free for having flight. Love how the game works that way. That's great. That's really great. No streamer, you don't get flying. I mean, I probably won't. Chariots, wrong card. I don't really care about golden options at this point, but a PhD is always welcome. One makes you smul. Why not? And a speed up pill, all right. Not bad, not bad at all. Definitely gonna get the analog stick. That thing breaks the tear cap. That's... Oh, you're supposed to make it go around? I, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> that, that was stupid. I 
do you even do this? If I blow these up, I still can't get to the other side, right? Does this one give me a, a path in my direction or something? Ah. Okay, I see. Goes to show how often I've actually taken advantage of that room. Wait, you can actually get to the chests without paying HP. It's like a bit precise. I always thought you actually had to pay health to get there. What? Okay, hold up. I guess we're going to have to clear these rooms. <laughs> I honestly did not know. Well, I might as well get these done too. I guess the danger just lies within actually, like, accidentally touching the spikes, right? I guess that's actually kind of iffy, yeah. Love how even Probs learns new stuff about this game. Almost every stream I learn something about this game that I have didn't know before. And I recently crossed 3,000 hours in this game. Alright, we have a butt knife. Not fantastic, but something. Let's go. Oh, right. She does that. <laughs> uh, I guess we take the negative, right? There's no way I'm getting on Polaroid. Well, I mean, I just said I'm not getting on Polaroid. And these really don't seem great either, so let's just go. Could have probably saved... Uh, Jello for this fight. Oh, two soul hearts. That's un... uncharacteristically generous. What a difficult word. Uncharacteristically. There we go. All right. So at this point, at least we can't mess up the mother path anymore. So it's just about making it there and surviving. I love how I talked about not being able to proc uh, Polaroid and immediately was greeted with three Devil Deal items. At the same time, they were all, all one heart, so that certainly wasn't enough. It's just very classic, you know. I'm surprised they didn't update Sackhead and Repentance to also be able to have a small chance of dropping those black sacks. Don't need a perk spell when I have a chaos card against Mother Hall. Just add a dark sack head. I mean, why not, honestly? That would probably be good enough to just make it a devil deal item. Like, that would give you dark bomb levels of, of black hearts. 
Like rebirth dark bomb levels of black hearts would that probably be? Magic eight ball. Uh-huh. Hermit card. Oh boy. Once again, should have saved the jello. Dark sack of sacks, OP. I'm capped on tier 8, so we just take that. Yo, Feisty, thank you for 89 months of support. Need holy sex. And then we also need rotten sacks to give rotten hearts. Nice. Appreciate that, sir. <laughs> thank you. Tinder rock. Oh, damn it. That's okay. Curse of the Laws, sure. Gotta get one more for the history books. <laughs> nice, nice. I mean, that can't hurt. Just keep going left. Perks. I'm actually a bit sad that a horse size perks pill doesn't actually do anything, but all at the same time, what would it do? Reduce all damage to a quarter of art. Take zero damage from the room. <laughs> this actually ended up being a dead end. Unbelievable. Take 0.5 for the floor. I mean, that would be reasonable. Oh my god, what? There's poison everywhere, and this is a dead end. This has to be the path, right? I feel like that one has to be it. Super secret room is always a good sign when you're looking for the boss.
Chaos card for the win. GG.